So, Andrew, how do you keep the momentum going? Yes, uh, I'm glad you asked because I, I am a big believer in momentum. And I've seen people who lost momentum and it seems they struggle with that. And so uh, getting the mindset right, taking daily actions to uh, toward your goal is key. Even if you're working a full-time job and your objective is to buy X amount of houses uh, uh, and this year, for example, as we're on a uh, real estate, uh, discussing real estate here, maybe your goal is to raise X dollars in private money this next year. Whatever that is, write it down, take daily action steps toward it, and uh, man, just keep the progress up. I must say every morning uh, as I go through my daily routine, my daily devotion and prayer and, and reading of, of some books, uh, everything for me that sets the tone for the day and keeps my momentum going uh, day by day. And quite frankly, the, the better I can keep every day going, the better the momentum picks up. And it's something you don't ever want to lose out on. Always keep multiple things. Never count on just one. You know, I may have seven deals under contract right now. If one falls out, I'm okay. If I have one under contract and it falls out, I, it's a bit of a challenge. So just momentum, just begin to build that and take daily action steps toward that. Don't ever miss it. Some people uh, work full time. And uh, I always recommend everybody book out at least six hours a week if you're part time in real estate. And uh, book that out and stick to that. And that's what I recommend everyone do, even if it's certain segments, 30-minute segments, hour segments, whatever that looks like. You've got a